Hello everybody and welcome to a new video and welcome to uh, story time on the Big Ego Gaming Variety Channel. I can't speak. It's early. It's, well, it's not that early. It's like 8 o'clock here. Um, I am. Yeah. So, um, I had this idea. Because I was watching, um, uh, the Hollywood judges, um, on the, on the YouTubes, um, and there's a bunch of people coming in with, like, saying that they got broken noses from people, or just in general, and of course, Hollywood judges, they don't always win, uh, but, um, basically, this is great, um, there we go, um, basically, I thought it was a good idea to talk about all the times I broke my nose or I got my nose broken by either my own stupidity or even just in general like uh, someone ran into me or whatever so I'm gonna do probably like how many stories I can think of off the top of my head probably going to think of more later, but for the sake of only doing one video on stories about when I actually broke my nose. Or we might get crazy with this and do also like when I got black eyes or an anything like that. So, um, so, uh, the most recent time I remember, now, to be fair, schools have problems with lack of padding on gym walls. I get that. Um, and it's very hard and very probably very expensive to pad every wall in the gym so that if, if kids run into it or adults run into it uh, they don't like hurt themselves that badly so this is one time I think it was in the older schools but it, I, I saw kids getting in, in when I was in elementary school and stuff getting hurt from running into walls okay they have the padding on the ends of the gym right in the center of the wall for like soccer um, and stuff um, that that kind of marks the goal or uh, whatever the game you play that also uses that so um, I happen to I don't like I said I don't remember if it was in middle school or high school uh, Basically, I've gotten uh, my head's like mush uh, from all the stress that I've been through in school already, so it doesn't it didn't help. But I, we were playing just randomly, and um, and then uh, uh, one of the games we were playing was probably football or soccer um meaning like the American or Canadian football or just regular soccer um, and so like having the goal pulse instead of the goal at the end of the yeah and in the end zone and whatever uh, or soccer where we actually had the 
So, um, and me being not the smartest or brightest kid, especially then, but really now too, um, I basically couldn't stop running because I was running so fast and I smacked into the, uh, uh the, um, wall where there was no padding. I forgot what those are called. Cinder blocks. Basically the, the, they're blocks with like holes in, in them where you can shoot insulation or whatever. And it's always cold in the gym so there was no insulation through those holes in the cinder blocks. But uh, I smacked into it. Broke my nose. Blood ever but me with the highest pain threshold out of anyone I know. It didn't hurt, I just straightened my nose and probably not really well because now I'm a mouth breather. But uh, that was one time. Nothing ensued, no, no, nothing. I didn't like go after school because I'm not like that. Um, but uh, um, there was another time where we were playing basketball. I bent over to come in, or I bent over to grab the ball up against, we were up against the wall and someone um, who I didn't particularly like and he didn't particularly like me um, came and was trying to grab the ball but like smacked me in the face with his shin because I was way down there um, picking up the ball uh, and uh, yeah, cracked my nose uh, uh, or fractured my nose and again, not, and me having the highest pain tolerance and not going to the hospital or anything. Uh, th by the way, this was in, this one I remember was in high school, and I just straightened my nose. Um, I don't think there was any blood that time, but um, yeah. So uh, there, like those are like the two times that I actually remember because um, again I've done some pretty stupid things so I don't remember everything in my lifetime anymore um, uh, since this video is not like that long yet I'm gonna be doing like black eyes that I can remember. I say black eyes, like I E I mean I um E I E Y E S. Dyslexia. Stupid. But um um so uh there's one time I was okay when when I was way younger we just moved into the basement, uh, so uh, of my parents' place, where I ended up back in the basement because it was the quietest and like I could spread out more and all that. Um, when I became an adult, but when I was like, so moved in in two thousand. Two thousand three or something, two thousand four. I think we. I moved in. I moved in t from. We had a trailer house, um. Or a trailer home on, the property that. You guys have seen in my parent at my parents' place, when I used to live there. We had a trailer home there somewhere, and then. 
we were forced to get out of the trailer home due to some problems probably with heating or whatever and the the house wasn't physically finished so like there was no heat there was no none of that stuff um and um you would you would actually have to physically go to bed with socks on um of course back then you would also wear clothes to bed because you're only like five to whatever age um so um then there was like um so so we had curtains on our doors and i was the first one in there like i was in there in the dark there's no lights no heat no water uh and then they slowly moved in from the trailer home they got me in there first because again i was the oldest and it would have been very hard to move my siblings into their when because they're like two years younger than me so they were like three and I was more able to handle myself in a way now nothing would have gotten me because or gotten to me no animals or nothing but then we built we're building the house while we were living in there so like there there was no windows on the second floor I don't think that I don't know if the third floor was even there yet. Um, oh yeah, it was. That's right. Um, because I fell down into the basement uh, when we were still trying to build. Um, so and then there, there were, to keep at least a little heat in, we had plastic at the top of the basement stairs. Because again, like there was the basically the second floor was full of snow in the winter, and uh, there's nothing we could do about it. Uh, just we had a wood stove that would smoke up the house, and basically tried to do it from there. Now I don't want any trouble from this. Uh, because my parents were really nice to me they, and my family, the rest of my family, they, they, they were the best parents in the world. Uh, we just, we, we had a dream, well my parents had a dream, I've become part of that dream because I ended up helping build that house. Um, and, uh, And um, basically, so um, going back on to topic here, I would because we had curtains on our doors. I couldn't at my age. I couldn't reach the uh, curtain to put take it off the, because it was on nails, um, basically, and you couldn't reach. I couldn't reach up to grab the, 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 it was basically a, sh a fabric shower curtain and take the, the O-ring, the old like thing that you, and hook it onto the other one. So I was on this chair, this little like bar stool, like cork bar stool. And because my body, I'm so, I'm basically, my eye level was basically at the stool height and um, um, my, my, my physical body couldn't handle like that little like tap of basically it was a tap of the chair when it, I got off of it and it flew back into my face um, uh, it uh, end up hitting me in the eye and I don't even know how if I was wearing my if I had glasses back then or if I was wearing my glasses or if they were taken off because I was getting ready for bed 
which I never had the greatest eyesight, so I probably, and I probably shouldn't have had my glasses on because at least insurance would have covered, at least I think it would have covered up the acts of stupidity on behalf of kid. So, um, it hit me in the eye. My eye ended up becoming swollen. I think it was, I don't remember if it was swollen shut or if it was just like, and it was very hard not to like touch it and um, so like I said, there was nothing I could do about it and uh, I went to school and my joke was that I got into a fight with a bar stool um, which was probably wrong at the time I did, I said a l lot of wrong, like, jokes for how old I was and, like, um, like, how many times, like, teachers actually called my parents and, like, like, is everything going on, in, everything good at home, like, um, because we, it, it was a castle and you guys, you guys have seen my ca my parents' castle on this channel. Um, so basically, in the, the basement of a castle is called the dungeon, and when, basically when I was two, we were still living in the, in the basement, or the dungeon, so I would, I, I would go to school and say, I live in the dungeon in the middle of a bald ass prairie, and that was basically like the only time I actually swore, in, at that age. Um, and I didn't know what I was saying, and then my teacher ended up calling home, and was like, is everything going on okay, and everything going on good at home, and like, why is, why, why is he saying that you live in a dungeon, and then when my parents cleared it all up, or basically my dad cleared it up, she was like, oh, I get it now. And, um, like, and they probably, like, exchanged, like, pictures of the house and whatever else, so, um, yeah, that was, that was, yeah. See, and, like, I hardly remember what it looked like without the, the, the actual buildings on the yard, um, because, um, I'm so used to it, and, and I'm so used to it when I could actually, like, think about those things, because I was always, like, the brightest, the, basically, when, whenever I was bright, I could, like, remember back, and some things I, I remember that other people don't. Um, like, um, if you guys didn't know, like, recently my dog passed away. My, one of my sisters, I'm not gonna, again, I'm not gonna name which one, thought that it was a rescue dog. And I was like, no. I remember we specifically got it right after your birthday, right after my Oma passed away. Um, so basically almost 11 or more years ago now from a breeder and because my dad did tuning or knew the person we we didn't pay or like we didn't get in we didn't we either got it for free or like um which w which you which is what you should you can't put a price on the life basically but, uh, um, uh, or we, we pay a little something for it o on top of like whatever work my dad did with their piano. So, um, I was, and we, and me and my sister got into this, that fight about it and uh, but if, if I, if I could find a picture and 
you'll probably see it when the next time I, I bring it up in a video when I do when I actually do a video um, I might be able to get a picture to actually uh, show you uh, uh, the, the house being like my house being built and like there's a there's my old dog there uh, uh, like the one before this one uh, who would bu bully me and all that um, but I was young and he, uh, he was more of a hyper dog that, that one at least was and that that was like basically he would just pull me over and drag me all, all the way around the yard and all that but I don't blame the, the, that one for that I don't blame any adult for anything that they've done to me uh, because basically life's not long enough to worry about that um so uh, yeah, uh, as I was saying, like the the curtain was, and the doors are were too high for me to reach because I'm only like five, six, something like that. I don't even know remember when we moved in. I know I was the first one in there by myself, no heat, no. I just had piled on the blankets, and then the very next day, um, they they moved the rest of the stuff in. Um, I think maybe I even asked to be moved in first, uh, uh, because at the time I was also like sharing a room with my brother, um, and, uh, and like it was, a, my room was also a storage room because it was also the biggest room, um. So, um, if you have never actually seen, uh, uh, um, a trailer home, the inside of a trailer home, it's basically the size of, basically the size of the, uh, like, the, the depth, um, because the doors are on the side, so if you're talking about depth, the depth is literally the size of an, uh, the the actual like road, um, like, but, but like a like a two lane highway basically. You you have to like call ahead and get power lines um, taken down uh, so that you, you that it doesn't pull them down and um, basically the road was. Uh, would have been closed off to move it, move any uh, trailer home. It's basically the size of the actual highway, uh, and then some, and hung hung off on the sides. So basically, you have the hallway that runs the whole length of it. Um, the living room, family room was at the like the the place where you would hitch it up to the trailer. And the kitchen was like in between, like where the bedrooms were. There were three bedrooms, uh, just because there was like my parents, um, my sisters, me. So and then it's like the size of a eight eight uh, eighteen wheeler or whatever. Um, uh, tra trailer, truck trailer kind of thing, um, with the fifth hitch and all that, um, so, because, like, uh, and probably it was also because I just wanted to get away from siblings and stuff, um, as well, uh, at least for one night. Um, yeah, so, and like I say, I don't want any like trouble from uh, this. My parents were great. 
seemed to be great. I know I knew that we weren't weren't big on on cash. Like we didn't have enough money to have like nice things. I mean, I my bed was um a homemade bed that was just like uh it looked like bracing uh with like holes in between or like those bed um basically so the mattress didn't sag through um i didn't have a box spring when i was younger i was it was, would have been way too high even for me to have a box spring like there were some sacrifices that I knew and we, my parents knew and a lot of people knew that uh, I ha we had to make because we were spending all, all of our money building the house, uh, probably other things that were going on and um, uh, my, my dad had like his arches fall so he had to go get surgery on that he had polyps in his nose so he had to pay for we had to pay the surgery for his nose as well uh, so and, um, traveling like for the street for example to Edmonton every whatever however many uh, times um, to see the, the, the doctor there and then having to actually pay for like his polyps uh, in his nose basically his sinuses um, and then there was like and then actually the actual like fun expenses like uh, when I was around that age like we went to like Disney World. We went to we went to Disney World I think three times. Um, well, one like once we went down to Florida three times, and and we did things like we went to, on the tour of NASA and and two times to Disney World. Once to Universal Studios. We went to Cancun. We went to all these places and they're raising three kids uh, that were two of them at least were more of a handful than uh, than me and then of course there was like music lessons piano lessons uh, um, singing lessons um, for the for my sibling, um, all this other stuff that they were paying for on top of it, and their their mortgage, their their any loans, any debt, any of that. Um, there was like all of that to 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 worry about. There was there was other uh, things like my my. If you didn't know me, and the reason why. I learned to do charity and give to charity. My dad, um, he has a charity, or he stole the rights to a charity. We can't call it a charity technically anymore because we can't get, we can't afford the charity tax receipt or the charity tax or the charity number and all that uh, fun joys. But we ha still have the name to it and the rights to it, kind of, in a sense. Um, so that's why I, I do all this charity stuff. And um, um, basically, uh, anything that I can give to charity, I end up giving to charity. Like, I have my own, like, personal expenses to, to, to pay for, which is hard, but anything that I have left over, and I'm like, I don't need that, I'd rather give it to, like, the charity thing that we're doing for the next 
two months and probably beyond that if they can't make the goals that they wanted of the charity. Um, so there's like that, and then there's there's like um, all the problems that I've been that was happening through school. Um, because basically it's it, if you if you're if you're a new parent or if you, you don't have kids that are autistic or if you are planning on having kids you have to basically be careful for things like this and if your kid has autism or any of the, the things that I have, it weighs heavily on uh, my parents, uh, or your parent, or like you guys, your parents, your uh, my parents, it weighed heavily on like, and then it also weighed heavily on other adults around me, um, grandparents. teachers, principals, guidance counselors, um, serious talk now, like, I, I always rip, I always used to rip on, like, the school division, and now it's just schools for the week, but, I can see why sometimes, like, I'm, not had the best like opportunities in school because I was just the annoying bratty kid to them which is not fair to put on me because I can't help it but there's also like the fact that there were like teachers and a lot of people didn't know how to handle autistics. Like I had a, I had a friend in elementary school. She was in my sister's class. Um, she was, um, had a learning disability and couldn't handle anything. Like it was too complicated and uh, it confused her. It, whatever the case may be and at that age kids act out so they all they did in elementary school was they uh, locked her in a room until she calmed down now there was holes in the walls and everything else and uh and then uh Um, so, like, and now it's back, and even my parents' age, like, my, my dad has autism and basically almost all the same things that I have. It was very hard for him to go through life. He was diagnosed little when he was 32, I think, or in, in his third, early 30s, I think, he was diagnosed with autism, ADHD, and all that. Now, it was, again, it was very hard um, for him, but it was even, it, it, for me, it felt like it was even harder than what he described it, because where I wanted to be more normal with some adaptation, and not having like someone constantly hovering over me um, because I felt like I could actually do the work at least in the beginning parts of like I went like in elementary school junior high and then into high school but when they started getting into like grade 12 math I did really well in it for being mostly on my own um, but also like, um, 
any other subject that I didn't do quite well in. It was mostly because they had like someone in there like nagging you and like not letting you work at your own pace kind of thing, which is very hard for someone with autism to actually work at the pace that they want versus like and then like having to come home and do homework like kids kids with or adults should be outside doing doing stuff getting fresh air like for adults playing driving drones and in, in, in if you live out in the country and also like shooting BBs and uh, at targets and um, or if you're into like the actual hunting stuff like real bullets into targets or going hunting or going fishing I was more of a fisher I want to start hunting I'm scared though because I love animals uh, but I also like the aspect of survival and all that so for some reason fish was okay um, which is whatever but uh, to actually go and actually go and fish up and eat where we would have friends that would give us like venison and goose meat and all this and bear and all this and we could eat it we didn't necessarily hunt it we didn't actually go hunting at all um, which I would have loved to be able to do from a very young age so that I can have more or less of like a knowledge of hunting and uh, like the respect for animals hold on let me finish in the fact like not like hunting them for example out of extinct to extinction or anything like that in the general area um, because or just having that like control over um, like we have to eat versus it's an animal kind of thing I can get like so, like it's an animal I love animals just as much as the next person but again eating feeding whatever uh, your household or whatever that I think that would have like helped us a bit more same with actually like being able to actually farm animals like having chickens and, and cows and all that would have helped probably uh, because like the money and I don't know all the financials into this but the money we saved from actually like chicken eggs milk, turkeys, whatever we decide to do, it could have gone into like feeding and having those animals uh, because let me tell you like it was, it, I did the math on like how much groceries my mom actually bought and then subtracted it from like what I've seen prices were for things like milk and chicken and whatever um, in, the, in the flyers and we could have honestly saved like thousands of dollars every month to like tens of thousands every year like probably like something like fifteen thousand dollars every year we could have saved on on those certain items because we bought them more or less regularly um, at least well yeah we bought like the big like 
50, 60, um, um, case of chicken breast for like 30, 40, 50 bucks every two months or whatever, and because we ate a lot of chicken, because, again, my parents are either always working or, and we had to like, kind of defend for ourselves when we got older, and my dad is not always feeling the best, um, physically and, like, mentally, So, and it isn't like his fault, he, he, he's still, we're still building our house, like my parents are still building our house, um, and we're working, all three of us, my mom, me, and my dad are working to support, like, the house, um, uh, and then also like supporting our, our everyday lives too. I guess say it was very, very, very hard for us, and it's still hard even for me on my own to actually work on this stuff. Um, so. Uh, Hopefully, like, hopefully, like I say, my, like I say, my parents were actually really loving. We got to go on trips. We got to go on road trips too. There was times when, when I was, we actually went to South Dakota, North Dakota, um, Yellowstone National Park, um, Big Sky. Uh, Minnesota, um, Montana, I mean Big Sky, Montana, there's times when we got to go like to different uh, things, um, just in general, and then like there was also like their own personal like personal relationship trips too, so and we were okay with it because basically we love our parents and a lot of times like the kids actually pay for the, the parents going to on these trips they have to support it by themselves because again autist me being autistic getting only like a certain amount from the government that I have to do on norm use on normal uh, everyday expenses and I can't afford like to go on vacation, which I would love to be able to go on vacations, go to conventions, do things like that. Um, where and then like, uh, so like, I never like because we weren't that wealthy, we never got like video games constantly consoles constantly, um, I didn't have a computer, my own computer, we had a household computer, but I didn't have my own computer until like, I was like, 16, I want to say, I mean, I had like a personal, I had like a laptop and stuff, but nothing to like the capacity that I'm doing things now, um, I got, and then when I was 16, 15 or 16, I got an Xbox 360, and, um, that was, like, the first video game that was very, like, re really just mine, besides, like, the, um, some, like, retro games that I got from my, uh, Oma, but, uh, we, we had a Wii when I was like 13, 14, 15, somewhere in probably like that, those were the years that I actually used it. And I have like Wii games now uh, because they were personal games given to me. 
there are shared games and impersonal games given to my siblings and I don't actually have the Wii to play them so um, and I lost interest pretty quickly because just the way the controls were and all that and so there there is like we, we had it great growing up, we didn't have it the best, but we had it great and we kind of understood why it wasn't the way other people had it because like it's hard with like three kids, I've watched my parents go through hardships and problems with three kids my dad has four, but that's beside the point. Um, so, um, like I say, it, it was harder for my, my parents going through all the, the absolute horse shit in life that they went through and then trying to make their kids have the best lives possible. Um, it's tr like really traumatizing to think about. Uh, I couldn't imagine going through it myself, which I probably am going to have to go through a lot of that by myself. Um, but. I don't like like I say like they uh, I have to I feel like I have to like press this a lot. Uh, they were really good parents, so please, no one like I don't want any grief from like this like I, it's just me like say talking about some things all through my life um I mean we live I remember living in an apartment I wish I was like actually live streaming this instead of just recording it but I remember living in the apartment and the police coming so many times because either we I was too noisy and like really just annoying or or how many times like the police were called because me and my siblings were acting up to the point where the, they actually had to be called which is not fun for anyone. Um, yeah. I was like put in, we were put in gymnastics as well. My, my uh, siblings went through band in school. I went through band in middle school. Um, happened to hear that clarinet that wasn't the best clarinet and and the reeds we couldn't afford to buy more reeds and they just simple pieces of wood with with a plastic coat like housing to keep them safe they were all chipped up and like my lips were all bleeding and And the squeaking of, of the clarinet just, or like all the trouble going through like music uh, lessons, or just in general, because I all I would really wanted to do is just sit around at home. I don't even think I would like. There was a couple shows that, like I said. There was a couple of shows that I actually watched when I was that age. 
and then there, and then I, I don't know what I wanted to do with the rest of my time. And I haven't mapped for like ever. And uh, it really just be a problem. But like I say, I, I really love my parents and I realized that, uh, at the time that I, well, me, me and everyone, or mostly everyone around me understood a lot of the issues, especially between me and my siblings as well, that it's really hard on my parents. I was just surprised that, because there was times when we were actually like, I was actually physically scared that they would break the marriage uh, or something or just, just craziness because I could understand about all that stuff at a very young age. Uh, I watch enough TV and I watch enough other garbage to realize all that stuff so um there's the constant like being called into the to the school or me running away from school I've done that a lot too um or me just I don't even know what the situation was where like I just had enough. I took my glasses and just crumpled them up and 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 like and then like all the therapy and stuff that I had to get, especially like after what like the the the, the school division when I was in middle school and high school did to me I had to get a lot of therapy directed by them so you can tell it was only one sided it wasn't my side it was only them because they all these people worked for the school um so I never I never won in, in that situation or any situation through them. Um, yeah, it was really, really, really difficult. And now, basically, a lot of times I heard you would never be able to live through life on your own and all this. So I'm like, I'm thinking back now, like, look at me now. I'm kind of here and I'm like, it's a hard knock life, but I have to live through it because I can't actually do anything about it. I'm kind of committed. Um, so, um, it's okay. I'll be making more than them probably. Hopefully, if this like YouTube thing actually keeps going. Uh, because I really enjoy it and uh, uh, so. um, this kind of turned into what I thought would have been like not very long just me talking about like, like a story time thing and then this became like a huge like story of like my life even though I do did this for like my 2,000 subscriber milestone video which I never actually hit 2,000 well I did at one time and it went downhill from there for some reason so. So. I wish I could like get your questions and answers and answer or questions and answer it about like different things in my life. I 
I don't think I can think of anything else to talk about. Even this video. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, I'm sorry it ended up being like almost an hour long. But thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.